Okay, I think I've got a problem. <laughs> I'm supposed to be getting rid of stuff, but I went treasure hunting yesterday and there were some goodies that were just way too, too good to pass up. So let me share this score with you. If you see anything you like, let me know. I'm not going to hold any of this stuff tight. It's all about moving through it, spreading it out there into the world. Um, let's start with this Westfalia trailer hitch. Now this is dated 1978. So that's a late bay, Westy, genuine trailer hitch with the ball, which is really cool. It even got some little trailer uh, ball caps with Westfalia logos. Uh, check out that pair of new old stock Beck valve covers. Uh, here's some new old stock Hirschman antennas. That's for the cowl mount style. They've got the red tip. Uh, there's some MP camber compensators, some cool little boot scrapers. Uh, check out that Motest gauge set. There's a bus gas gauge, a bus clock. We've got some switches there. We've got an about time oil filler reacher dealy bop. Cigarette lighter, a nice gas cap. Those are some new old stock Hella backup switches that go off of the back of your speedometer. Uh, here's a new old stock Bosch regulator. Got some tachometers. That one looks like it might be out of a Pontiac. Check out that Stork temperature gauge. Killer piece. Uh, another VDO tack. This one is like a column mount, which is really cool. There's another VDO tack in the box. There's a Judson uh, Magneto. Here's some distributors out of a Porsche 914.6. Two of those bad boys with a new old stock Magneti Morelli uh, distributor cap. Got some Bosch caps. There's uh, even some Bosch grease for the distributor. Uh, there's a Porsche Flasher unit, another six cylinder cap. Cool V-Sport NOS cap in the box. These SCV Marshall turn signal lights are new old stock and pretty killer. Um, there's a bus ashtray. There's some 68 bug uh, reflectors. There's an early bus reflector. We've got backup lights for bus. Uh, here's a cold start relay or a, a, a 12 volt jumper relay for your starter. There's some new old stock little marker lights. They say Gia on them, which is kind of fun. Those are also new old stock backup lights, some sort of aftermarket thing. Uh, here's some bus tail lights with blue dots, which are pretty cool. Uh, there's a couple European bus uh, tail light pieces. Early Beetle, um, you know, 56 through 61 tail light parts, some bus tail light parts, bulb holders. There's some more 62 to, to 71. Uh, or 72 bus part uh, taillights, uh, some cool vintage fog lights, a bunch of fried egg turn signals and parts. Uh, there's some NOS DEETS uh, turn signal stop lights. Those are actually kind of cool. I don't know what you'd use them for, but they're pretty killer. And then some other uh, buggy lights. And those are all metal back, not plastic. Uh, some killer hella fog light lenses. Got some bus um, dome lights. There's some more Hella fog lights. There's some Westy camper interior lights, split screen bus bumper guards and rubbers. There's some split screen bus latch pieces, new old stock Hella uh, fluted lenses with the VW logo, new old stock Hella smooth lenses. Here's a set of cosmic chrome plated wheel bolts in the box a panorama spiegel hi that's a cool little clip-on accessory uh, goes on your mirror so you've got a wide angle mirror in the box that looks like uh beetle um, door uh, ashtray uh, possibly convertible there's some porsche uh, vent pieces for the heater there's a porsche oil filter 
here's a trim set for 58 to 60 or I guess up into the 70s trim set that goes on the little vents in the back uh here's even some rolls of westy tent material no clue uh let's come around the other side here got some Volkswagen greats magazines those are really killer for 70s look stuff there's a Westfalia calendar looks like an owner's guide magazine early early hot rod magazines 1951 uh, I've got some other great uh, assorted car liter literature some 80s stuff AMG Mercedes Lamborghini so on and so forth uh, now to the badges uh, GEM badge 51 moniker on it. We've got uh, 100,000 kilometer badges. These uh, MP badges are uh, a joke, but hilarious. Do not use stove in speeds in excess of 120 miles an hour and on open safaris. Um, these are easy camper tags that are ready to stamp with your info. And those are pretty special and hard to get. Uh, we've got some dealer badges and body shop badges from germany westfalia badges got some bug in plaques there's even a euro bug in vw classic there's a cool uh, harleysville mutual casualty company insurance tag 1957 spring meat thing there millimilia another hundred thousand kilometer badge there's a couple of Volkswagen tags. This one here in the in, is uh, unstamped too, which is pretty awesome. I don't know where that came from. Got an Engel Racing Cams tag, Triple uh, A, cool Farmers Insurance tag. I love this little Vidal motor oil thing. It's just a little paper tag, but I love it. Uh, Speedwell Rally, SoCal Treffen. Keystone Automotive Club, Pebble Beach Concord Chrysler badge, got some MP and Speedwell badges, Judson Supercharger, Dino Dinosaurs, more Speedwell, cool little Iron Cross. Coming back over here, we've got, uh, there's a Victoria badge from Rotterdam, Holland, Eddie Meyer, a Rosetta timing tag, cool Zell AMC porcelain badge, Good for 2002. Here's a Mets emblem that's from a VW powered uh, fire water pump. Uh, some killer Volkswagen scripts, including this aluminum one. That neat plastic one there from Venezuela. There's a Glockler Porsche badge. Here's uh, Reuter tags and paint tags for Porsche. There's another couple Reuter tags and a Carmen tag. Uh, 911 badge, uh, bug in. We'll get back to that. Targa, Spider, Porsche tag. This Anglo automobile uh, Munich tag is pretty neat. And we'll come back over here. We've got SoCal Treffen, Golden Gate Chapter, uh, Kelly Park Meet, um, cool U.S. Coast Guard Auxiliary. NHRA tag, a little mobile oil sign, and a Ford uh, little porcelain sign. Uh, there's a new old stock Fram filter uh, in the box with all the logos on it. It's pretty clean, the sticker and everything. Uh, there's some genuine Porsche uh, service towels um, with the Porsche logo woven into them, and they even have the Porsche tag on them. This thing is absolutely hilarious. It's a model kit that was used as a promo for the uh, movie called Used Cars uh, with Kurt Russell in it. And uh, what's great is some of the stuff on here. Actual retouched photo of car bearing no resemblance to contents of this box. Girl not included. Neither is her phone number. Absolutely hilarious. Special features, worn out tires, parts that won't fit, stains on the back seat, broken things. I absolutely love it. It's a crack up. And the model kit is in there. And as promised, it does not match the car on the cover in any way, shape, or form. Looks like a Camaro. But that is super funny. Never seen that. 
Here's a really neat new old stock fuel tank modification for 55 to 60 VW. Uh, puts in a little vent and that's in the box. Even the tag here has a cool little logo of VW on it. This one I've got to look up. It's a Hella Sport Mirror. It has the Hella logo on it. New old stock in the box. I don't know if I've ever seen one of those. That I need to figure out what it is. Got a whole bunch of other little sport mirrors and pieces. Some of them have logo. Classic GT. Uh, this one has a Talbo logo on it from Berlin. Uh, here's a Porsche mirror in the box with the Made in Germany tag on it. Uh, another Porsche mirror. These mirrors are really cool. Desmo Continental Boomerang. And they're a wing mirror. This would go on the front fender. Uh, and they thread, and they're actually made out of white molded acrylic. And there's a pair of those in their NOS in the box with the logo or the instructions and everything. There's a cool big wide uh, gas cap, another gas cap. There's a cool Speedwell Velocity stack with the, the logo on it. And then these, these Haneline trim panels. Those are early 911. These are Porsche 356. There's three pairs of those. Haneline was a, um, Ernie Haneline was his name, and he did this custom uh, machine turn finish for a lot of hot rod stuff back in the 50s and 60s. Did a lot of Porsche and Volkswagen stuff as well. And his parts are really hard to find in any sort of condition. Uh, I've also got some new old stock ones for Porsche 911. I've got headlight buckets that were done with the same material for Porsche 911 or Volkswagen. That's a killer stash of stuff. Here's a Porsche water bottle. Here's a new old stock German clutch plate for a 911S, 67 or 68. Some chrome headlight buckets. Here's a chrome rear panel for early 911 with the part number on it. It's just kind of an interesting chrome trim panel, an accessory of some sort. Uh, there's a, a rubber center console piece also, I think, for 911. Anyway, yeah, I'm sick as hell, man. But when you come across this sort of stuff, you absolutely cannot say no. Oh, yeah. And the Volkswagen letters. These were off of the top of the dealership, the service department of Colomi Motors in Montebello back in the day. And that's a full set of letters. These things were buried in the guy's backyard under weeds. All sorts of trees and stuff growing through them. Uh, I've got a buyer for those already, so those won't be sticking around long. And hopefully this other stuff finds homes too. So I'm going to be going through this stuff, putting it up for sale either on eBay or on the Samba website. Um, you know, if you see anything in this batch that is of interest to you, please leave me a message. You can re reach me through my oldbug.com website. You can also give me a call. Uh, my number is 951-795-1175. If there's something you see that you're after, make it happen quick because all of this is going to go. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoy my sickness of having way too much shit. I am buried in junk. But that's just the way it's going to be. Bye.